at the Fiesta Parade. This is a giant Save the Bees float. Historical, What's going on? historical parade. Historical, historical parade. So you got it right. We all speak Spanish, you know? Always want to be accurate in our reporting. Yes, of course. <laughs> So what's going on? Why is there a well, Save the Bees foot? Well, we're um, trying to raise consciousness uh, about the plight of the honeybee that pollinates all our fruits and vegetables all over the whole planet. And uh, just to educate people. What can people do in Santa Fe to help save the bees? Uh, boycott Roundup. Or GMO products that are have built-in pesticides in their genetic makeup. This Roundup is a pesticide made by Monsanto that's sprayed on lots of crops. That's so most very probably good. use pesticide, and so it's dangerous to bees. Is that what you're saying? Yes, it is. It's uh, there's a lot of research to be done, but it it is my feeling as a beekeeper that these. Uh, chemical products are related to the colony collapse disorder and to overall health problems for all living things. And explain it for people who don't know, what would happen to our food supply if we lost all the bees? Approximately 70% of all the fruits and vegetables that you currently ingest in your life would not exist. Because those crops are pollinated by, by bees? Yes. Or by, by other pollinators? Yeah. Beneficial bees, not just honey bees. There's a multitude of beneficial bees that, that don't produce honey, but they pollinate. So who's supporting this? I saw Patty Boucher has a sign. Boucher for bees. And anybody else? Any other politicians supporting um, well, this? I can relate and support Patty and her, her run. Because she supports bees? Well, of course. I mean, she couldn't be with us without being supportive of, of uh, yeah. a more natural way of living. She was one of the sponsors of that GMO labeling yes. resolution that came yes. up in the city. So hopefully yes. that will have some teeth to it and we'll actually be able to label products in Santa Fe and ban GMOs? Well, we hope so. It's just all for our, the future, our, our children. You know, I raised my kid here and, um, and educated her to the best of my abilities. So that's why I'm here, again, to educate anyone that really wants to know. Thanks so much. It's great right. to see this as part of the histor historical, right historical oh, parade. Yeah. Coming in Fiesta Week. Yeah. Anything you want to say to the world? What? Do you want to say anything to the world? Is it important to, sa to save the bees? <laughs> Thank you. Why, why is it important to save the bees? What? Why are you trying to save the bees? Because if we lose okay, bees, listen, listen. we lose pollinators, listen. we all die. That's a good reason. Excuse me, excuse me. You have to be next to the bus here. You cannot be in the front. This bus has to be flanked by people holding signs, by people handing out stuff. Okay? Your spot has to be held. Can I ask you a question? What's up? Why do you support the bees? The pollinators are crucial to the, the food chain. It's very important. We all need to support bees. So the main words for today is save the bees. What can we do in Santa Fe to save the bees? Don't use Roundup. Don't use chemicals that would harm them because we need them. Yes. And um, why, as a county clerk, that's, that's your role, right? 
So why is it important for public officials to be part of this movement, and what can you do at the city level? Well, I am a community member. I do purchase food. My husband and I do garden. We have lavender in the front of our yard, and the bees are prolific. So I want to see them continue pollinating our garden and then the farmers' gardens and their plots and their farms. So I'm part of this universe. Oh, there's my friends. <laughs> Thanks for supporting the bees. Where are you going to be? Why do you support the bees? Why do I support the bees? Because they are part of the web of life that makes all life possible. Any species that dies because of us is one species too many. What do you think we can do in Santa Fe to save the bees? Number one is allow people to keep bees, not have an ordinance uh, against except very minor regulations. Uh, two is no pesticides, period. No pesticides. Keep everything, all farming organic, 100%. Uh, what do you maybe think in about the county? The city using pesticides in city parks. Should that stop? Absolutely must stop. You know, we don't need pesticides of any kind. It's better to have no lawn than have pesticides. I firmly believe that. You know, there are other ways of zero escaping and so on. I mean, we. We don't need pesticides for plants. We don't need pesticides for grass. It's a proven fact. So, you know, that's old old thinking. We don't need it anymore. I totally agree. What does your sign say? Santa Fe Community Co-op. Ethical food. Save the bees. Are you with the co-op? Uh, yeah, the founder. Awesome. Can you talk about that? Oh, sure. I'd love to. So, this is a new co-op. It's a completely different model. It's to bring affordable food to everybody, affordable, healthy food to everybody in Santa Fe. We're going to be in a location that bridges the north and the south side, so we can bring everybody together in community. It'll have a community room. Um, we're looking at having farming. Um, we're going to have homemade soups and stocks, child care, very family-oriented with child care. We're going to have an organic yogurt machine. So, um, you're going to say most natural food stores open with a 65 have a 65% or more profit margin. We're going to start with 29% markup. So, a 65% markup, we're going to start with a 29% markup. We have a great model, and these people are working closely with us. They're the, one of the five most successful independent grocery stores in the country. While Whole Foods is like 26% organic, we're going to be 85, at least 85. Wow. 5% organic. So it's going to be a fantastic community effort. Will you be 100% GMO free? Um, we will definitely be 100% GMO label free. The issue with the non-GMO is that they're going through a testing and certification process. So actually all the foods aren't certified. But we will definitely label and we will definitely be non-GMO as soon as we can. Do you have uh, a website? Um... Oh, we do have a website. So our website is sfcommunitycoop.wordpress.com. Come, there's lots of information there. You'll find out all about it. You're and signing up members? We're signing up members. We need 400 members to be viable. And um, we're not going to spend, there's a pledge and a work requirement for the co-op. That's one of the ways we save money. But the most important thing is we're not going to spend any money until we have 400 members because that will show that we have enough community support to be an effective How much is a membership? A membership is a $100 pledge one time. You get it back if you leave. We're waiving the $25 a year membership fee for the first 400 members. And there are two work shifts every four weeks. So the total work requirement is five and a half hours every four weeks. That's a lifetime membership. That's a lifetime membership. $100. That's it. Jump on it, Santa Fe. Jump on it. It's going to be great. Fantastic people are joining, community leaders. You know, the, the people who join the co-op are its owners, its cheerleaders, its heart and its soul. It really, the success of the co-op depends on you. And how does that relate to the movement to save the bees? How, 
Well, yeah. the bees are critical for pollination. If you don't have effective pollination, you don't have food. So we're, that's definitely something we support. But the other thing that we're really supporting is we're going to be doing farming and we're going to be, be using and testing the new technologies, hydroponic, aquaponic, aeroponic, because it's 90 to 90, it's aeroponic uh, farming is 90 to 98% water efficient. So that's fantastic. And the co-op actually is going to be very ecological. We're going to do thermal recapture from all the refrigeration output, which is going to be glycol based and lower in, in, in uh, carbon emissions. Emissions. We're going to do gray water recycling, solar, and we're going to be very water efficient. So those are all ways that we're going to contribute to the ecology. That all sounds amazing. Thank Thanks you. for talking to me. I'm with Octopi New Mexico. Thank you very and much. And folks watching, you can go to sfcommunitycoop.wordpress.com. Thanks so much. Wow. So I just hung out at the bus. So that was like a little island of sanity. Uh, ever since then, you want to talk about your...